Ugh. There are so many jeans out there nowadays, it is so hard to know what shoes really look the best with each one. Well, today we are breaking that down and answering that question with three different kinds of jeans and the shoes that look the best with each one. Hey my friends, good to see you again today. My name is Angela, if it's your first time here. So let's get right into it with the jeans that aren't going anywhere from my closet. It's the skinny jeans. The first type of shoes that in my opinion look the best with skinny jeans are something like these boots. The reason being is because you don't have to do any kind of funky roll or tuck with these jeans. The boots slip on easily. The jeans are tapered right into the boot, no problem. So for me, when I'm wearing a pair of boots like this, the skinny jeans immediately come out of the closet to be paired with shoes like this. Now the next pair of shoes that I feel 100% look the best with skinny jeans are little booties. There is nothing to tuck, there is nothing to roll, they taper straight down, and the booty really doesn't interfere with the bottom of the jean. Now the next pair of shoes that I feel like all day long go the best with a pair of skinny jeans are something like these hiker boots. Now to me, it's a complete no-brainer because you don't have to roll your jeans to fit appropriately in these boots. There is no extra jean material bulking out all over the place when you wear these. They're just tapered straight down into the boot. And because there is no bulk in the jeans, there, it's not a problem to zip these up. Now, of course, you can still rock a pair of cute little tennis shoes or your bulkier tennis shoes with a pair of skinny jeans. It just depends on the top that you're going with and the style that you're going for for the day. Is it more sporty looking? Is it more cute and casual? These still work with skinny jeans. And same with a simple pair of slides. They still totally work with a pair of skinny jeans as well. But as you're gonna see, we're going right for the straight leg jeans and you're gonna see how some of these shoes, including these, transition beautifully with the straight leg as well. But you're also gonna see how a couple of those that look really good with the skinny jeans don't work so well with the straight leg. Now, while it's still fresh in our mind with what those shoes look like with the skinny jeans, let's do a comparison of what the hiker boots look like now with the straight leg. Okay, now can you still wear them with straight legs? Yes, but what I want you to notice this leg right here, I tried to do a MacGyver roll of the, of the extra pant and then tuck it down in the boot so it wouldn't roll over so much. But as you can see, there's still extra material more than a skinny jean would be. Now, take a look at this side here. I didn't do any kind of funky roll. I just put the hiker boot on and then just stuffed my jean down into the hiker boot. As you can see, I've got bulkiness kind of coming out from the hiker boot. So is it awful? No, but the skinny jeans I feel are a better fit into a boot like this. Now let's do a side by side of what a booty looks like with straight leg jeans. Here we go. Now it's not horrible, but let's notice a couple of things. Look at how the jeans really just don't fit as well around the booty. One leg, it's kind of tucked behind the little lip here. One leg, it's in front of, and I didn't really do anything to mess with it. It just kind of laid like that. So we're not gonna get a consistent look with the booty, and you're not gonna get the tapered look down to the booty. So in my opinion, I just feel that the skinny jeans just look better with a booty than the straight leg. Now we're going with the tall boots. Let's do a side by side with the skinny jeans and the straight leg. In this case, they don't look too bad, do they? But if you look closely, I'm getting bunching right up here in the pant um, above the boots. I didn't get that with the skinny jeans. So is it a big deal? It may not bother you. And of course, you could still rock a pair of flat, narrower tennis shoes, or some bigger, bulky tennis shoes with a pair of straight leg jeans, and it would look just fine. You could even rock a pair of slides in warmer weather, or even a pair of Birkenstocks, and it still would look fine.
Now, if by chance you own a pair of these lug boots, these would look really good with your straight leg jeans too because the jean comes over the boot just perfectly. It doesn't interfere with the top of the boot at all. Okay, now we're coming to the jeans that I feel personally are a little bit more tricky to style with shoes. They are the flare or boot cut jeans. I don't have boot cut jeans with me today, but I have a flare. So I'm gonna show you what I feel looks really good with the flare. And now I am saying for me all day long with the flare, it's gotta be something with a heel. The reason being is because if I don't wear a heel with these flares, they're dragging all over the ground. So that's number one. And number two, when you wear a heel with the flare type jeans, it really elongates your legs. So it serves that second purpose in just making you look taller and leaner. Who doesn't like that, right? So with the flare, get yourself a booty with a heel or let's even try something like these cowboy boots. Now with the cowboy boots, you're not gonna see much of the detail on the cowboy boots, but these definitely still work because it's got enough of a heel that these pants are not dragging on the ground when I wear them. Now the other shoes I feel would look really good with a boot cut or a flare is something with a heel that's a wedge, maybe it's a little strappy pair like this. So let's try those out. So again, these do work because it has a high enough heel where the jeans are not dragging on the ground. You're only gonna see the toe, just like a lot of the other shoes we've tried on so far, but this would still work depending on what top you're wearing with it. And here are the black strappy wedges. You can still see just the toe and maybe a little bit of the strap as you walk. So these would be a good fit too, especially for warmer weather. Okay, and just for giggles, let's try on a pair of slides and a pair of Birkenstocks with a pair of flares and see if they might work at all. As I suspected, the heel is gonna drag on the ground. And if you guys can tell, there's a lot of bunchiness going on at the bottom of the jeans, especially around the straps of the slides. So in my opinion, I wouldn't wear my slides with these jeans because it would just make the bottoms look way too funky. I'm gonna have to say same thing with the Burks. I mean, the jeans are just bunching up all over the place and the heel of the jean, the back of the jean is dragging on the ground. So again, to me, I wouldn't wear these with these jeans because I just don't feel they're the best bet. In my opinion, I would probably stay away from flat little sneakers like this because we're gonna get the same look happening with the bunching of the jeans at the bottom. Um, they don't have a heel on them, so the jeans are gonna be dragging on the ground. But what I am curious about is because these have a heel on them, let's try these and see what we got. As you can see, they would work a little bit better than what I was picturing the flat little sneakers would. But again, there's a lot of bunching of the material that's laying right on top of the top part of the sneaker. So I'm not really a big fan of that look myself, so I'm saying I wouldn't pull for a tennis shoe with a boot cut jean. Okay, ladies, we're going for the laugh factor here. I'm gonna try these boot cut jeans on with the hiker boots. I'm gonna try them on with booties and I'm gonna try them on with a tall boot. Let's see how ridiculous those actually look with a pair of boot cut. I don't know, we might be surprised here. Let's take a look. Honestly, I'm saying these don't look that bad. Um, I feel like they look just as good as they did with a pair of straight leg. Now, there was an, there's a lot of extra jean tucked down in these boots, let me tell you. And they were a little bit more difficult to zip up because of that. But when you actually get them on and you look at it, I mean, honestly, it's really not as bad or any worse than putting them on with a pair of straight leg. Again, I'm kind of surprised. These are the booties. And honestly, they fit over them just fine. They're a little closer as far as the back of the jean is gonna drag on the ground, maybe just a bit. But you know what? Booties was all you had. You could make this work. And I'm saying hiker boots with a pair of boot cut jeans, not so much, okay? Let's take a look at the two legs and what I did here. So this leg obviously is just out and over the hiker boot. <sighs> you know what? I just don't like the look. It would be okay if I needed to and maybe if it was a different color boot but it wouldn't be my first choice. 
And then over here, I try doing the tuck, the roll around the leg and the tucking it in. And honestly, it's just puffing out all over the place. It doesn't look good with all that jean material sticking out of the hiker boot. So for that reason, the hiker boots would be a no-go for boot cut jeans or flare jeans. I had to come and show you this guy with his new haircut before we move on. Yeah. You know, I have been trying to give him more bottled water than we normally do because of the staining around his eyes. So thank you to those who've been telling me that. We haven't done it for long, so I'm hoping over time it's gonna make a difference. Boy, I sure do feel good in my new haircut. Now I don't have to worry about getting heat stroke down in Florida. Now if only I could take care of these raccoon eyes, I'd be looking good. All right, ladies, it's good to see you again. You take care now. You know, give me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite type of jean to wear and are the skinny jeans going anywhere from your closet or are you giving them the pitch? I just wanna let you guys know that as you're seeing this video, we are now in Florida. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm gonna be posting not only keepers from the different hauls that I shop down here, so you'll be able to see what I actually kept over on Instagram. I will also be posting pictures of what we're up to on vacation while we're down here. And also you just get a look into more of my personal life. So if those kind of things sound interesting to you and you aren't already following me over there, you may want to consider doing so. Now, the next important video for you to watch if you've not seen it already was the one I just recently did on what we should and shouldn't wear over 50. You are going to love it. Check it out next right here.